the U.S. point of view, uh, negotiations are, in effect, a way for Israel to continue its policies of uh, systematically taking over whatever it wants in the West Bank, uh, maintaining the brutal siege on Gaza. From the U.S. point of view, uh, negotiations are, in effect, a way for Israel to continue its policies of uh, systematically taking over whatever it wants in the West Bank, uh, maintaining the brutal siege on Gaza, separating Gaza from the West Bank, and of course uh, occupying the Syrian Golan Heights, uh, all with full U.S. support. Uh, uh, and the framework of negotiations as in the past 20 years of the uh, Oslo experience uh, have uh, simply provided a cover for this. Well, they're probably partly out of desperation. I mean, you can ask whether it's the right choice or not, but uh, they don't have many alternatives. If they were to refuse to join the U.S.-run negotiations, their uh, basis for uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the they survive on donations, essentially. You know, it's not a Israel's made sure that it's not a productive economy. Uh, so they're a kind of a, what in Yiddish would be called a schnorrer society. You just borrow. You know, you live on what you what you can get. And uh, mm. whether they whether they have an alternative to that is not so clear. But if they were to refuse the U.S. demand for negotiations on completely unacceptable terms, uh, their basis of support would erode.